Oh, nice and soft. That's right. This week we are looking at the soften module. So just as it says on the box, it will soften your images. But there's a bunch of different ways you can use this. So let's dive on in. Hi, and welcome to episode 62 of Understanding Darktable. I've been mucking around with the input color profile module. Not quite ready to do a video on it yet because I need to do a bit more research, but in the process of that mucking around, I've decided to revisit a couple of images from prior shoots. And one that I was mucking around with today was this image of Tegan from our Autumn Colors shoot, which we did about a year ago now. And in the process of retouching this image, I thought about the soften module and realized that I'd not yet done a video on this particular module. Now, if we turn it on by default, it's going to look like that. Pretty tragic, pretty hideous. It's reminiscent of those 70s portraits where the soft focus filter was all the rage and that's not really something I want to do to this image or any other image that I've ever shot or am ever likely to shoot. But let's have a look at the parameters that are at our disposal. We start with the size. As you would imagine, a soft focus is going to apply blur on a pixel by pixel basis across your image. How much blur or well, the intensity of that blur is dictated by the size parameter. If we set this to a very small value, then the blur is constrained to a narrow band of pixels from any given point. As you wind that size value up, we can see that the blur gets spread further and further afield. So how big or small you want the blur to be is controlled by size. Saturation, as you would imagine, that will desaturate your image. So as we wind that back, we lose a lot of the color information from our image. The 70s are getting closer. Okay, next up we've got the brightness control. And as you would imagine, that will darken or brighten your image. And you can Play with that as much as you like. And then finally, a mix control. Set it to zero, you're looking at your original image. Set it to 100% and you are looking at complete and utter blur. Now, I said in the intro that there are multiple ways that you could use this module. It strikes me that you could, if you wanted to create those tilt shift lens miniature world type images which are not my cup of tea but some people love that look you could use this to help apply that really extreme bokeh bokeh i don't know how you meant to pronounce that look of you know out of focus foreground and out of focus distant objects and just this narrow band in the middle that's in focus. I didn't think to go and look for an image that I could have tried that on. I might stop this a little later and we'll look at that later in the video, maybe. But one of the ways that I use the soften filter, and I do it a lot in images of this type, is, okay, I'm going to reset the module for now and what i found this is really good for just softening skin where you've got quite let's just turn that off if we have a look at her face i mean lovely face and her skin is not bad but a little bit of softening to the skin can just take this image to the next level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing a drawn mask. And for this, I'm using my Wacom tablet. So what I'm going to do is go with just the brush tool. And I am simply going to do something like 
this. Another path like that. Okay, now, yes, it looks a bit rough at the moment, but what we can do now is apply some feathering radius. So that will, actually, what I should have done before I do that is turn the mask on so we can see what parts of our image are being masked. Now, as I increase that radius, you can see that that is spreading that mask out a little bit further. That's probably further than I need. Something like that would be good. What I can now see is I really should add a little bit in between her eye and her eyebrow. So I'm just going to go and do that before I move on. Something like that and something like that. And then we'll have another look at the mask and turn that off. That's okay. I could probably, yep, I can live with that. Contrast wise, I just increase that just a touch and opacity. I think it was pretty good where it was at zero. So I'll just leave that. Now, what I've got is a series of paths that have softened the skin on her face, but the default settings are way too extreme for my liking, or certainly for this particular application of just wanting to soften the skin a little bit. So what I am going to do is I'm going to leave the size where it is, and I'm just going to back off the mix for now. And I'm thinking, yeah, probably somewhere around about 30% is probably where I would like that to be. So if we set that to zero, that mix, that's where we started. There's 30%. Let's go 40%. I could probably live with 40%. I think 50% is too much. Yeah, it's looking a bit too much to me. So without, with. And that's just ever so gently softened her skin. Now, you may not like that particular look, and that is absolutely fine. It's all subjective, but hopefully you get the idea. So I can now zoom out, have a look at that image without and with. Now, you will notice that that does look like her skin is a little bit lighter than it was prior to the soften. So again, we'll just have a, a quick look at that without, with. So I might now say, well, okay, I'll just reduce that brighten value a little bit so that we're closer to where the exposure and skin tone was before we started with the soften module. So that has just softened the skin just a little bit and I really like it. It's also helped reduce some of the specular highlights just a little bit. I could go in and massage that a little more if I wanted to, but hopefully you get the idea. Alrighty. So that is one way of using the soften module. I personally like it just for softening skin, just a touch. Like I said, it doesn't need a lot, doesn't need to be heavy handed. I find that you can actually get to pretty heavy handed looks very quickly. Like I said, even a 50% mix to me looked a little bit too heavy handed. Um, but yeah. Feel free to experiment and dial in the parameters that work for you. And, and again, you know, it's going to vary on what image you are actually working with and what portion of the entire composition is the face. Um, hey, and it doesn't have to be limited only to the face either. I mean, if there are other parts of the skin that need touching up, by all means, you now have another tool at your disposal. 
All right, let me go and have a quick hunt around, see if I can find an image that we could maybe do a faux tilt shift effect on. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry to disappoint. It's occurred to me in my few minutes of scanning through my collection of photos that you really need an image of a, a town, ideally, and it needs to be taken from a high vantage point looking down across the town for for that type of shot, for that fake tilt shift kind of look. And I have not been able to locate an image like that that sort of suits that style of shot. So hopefully if that's your thing, you've already got images in your collection that you could probably try using the soften filter to apply a faux tilt shift lens look to. So if you do, um, you know, post them somewhere so that we can all see and, and drop a comment down below. You know, if you've got a 500px or a Flickr account or, you know, you even just want to, I don't know, chuck them in the dark table unofficial group on Facebook or something. I don't know. But if you do manage to, um, you know, apply that sort of fake tilt shift look to an image using the soften module, let us see the results because uh, I'm just based on what I've seen in that module, I'd imagine you could probably do that if that was your cup of tea. All right, people, uh, anything to add at this point? I don't think so. Um, no, I'm good. Patreon supporters, thank you so much for your continued support. I will try and get some more content made on your behalf. Sorry about my phone ringing in the background there. Uh, I will try and put a dedicated video together for you guys soon. And yeah, I think that'll do it. Until the next one, take care.